Hi, I'm Mietze, and today we're diving deep into the world of cloud TPUs and how to use them for supervised fine tuning of open models. That's right. We'll be focusing on Google's Gemma model and using Hugging Face Optimum TPU to make it happen. But first, Duncan, what are cloud TPUs? Absolutely. TPU stands for Tensor Processing Unit. Google designed them just for machine learning. Think Gemini, Search, Translate, Photos. TPUs power them all. That's right. And cloud TPUs are how Google makes this technology available to everyone. So TPUs are different from CPUs and GPUs because they're purpose-built for AI. But what does that mean? It means they're built for the matrix multiplications that neural networks need. They do that super efficiently. Right. So what makes TPUs special? TPUs are designed with a systolic array architecture. This is the key difference. Think of it like an assembly line for matrix operations. The systolic array minimizes the need to access memory during calculations. Less data movement, more speed, and energy efficiency. OK, so when are TPUs the clear choice? TPUs really shine when you're dealing with models that train for extended periods, like weeks or months. They're also great for large models or when dealing with ultra-large embeddings. OK. And, and now we're going to show how to use a TPU to fine-tune a really small model, Gemma with 2 billion parameters. Exactly. TPU support is still new in these libraries, but it's improving fast. Awesome. Now let's get into the fine-tuning process itself. Where do we begin? Well, first we need to set up a virtual machine with a TPU. A single host V5 LightPod 8 TPU should be enough for our purposes. Google Cloud has setup guides. We'll link them in the description. OK, so we've got our TPU environment set up. What's next? I'll use SSH to log into the machine and enable port forwarding for port 8,888 for a Jupyter instance. OK, and, and that's where you will load this notebook and run the fine tuning from. That seems like a bit of a roundabout way to do it, but we're in an exploratory mode, so that's OK. Once we're in, we'll clone the Optimum TPU repo, install the packages, and then start Jupyter. I see TRL and PEFT. We'll get to those later, right? Exactly. Now, since we're using the gated Gemma model, we'll need to log into Hugging Face using our access token. That makes sense. OK, and the notebook mentions FSTPV2. What's that about? It stands for Fully Sharded Data Parallel. It's an optimization to shard the model across the TPUs. Awesome. Now, let's talk about the data set. What are we using to fine tune Gemma? We're using the Dolly data set, a collection of instruction following data that covers various categories. I see. The notebook loads it directly from the Hugging Face Hub. Right. We load it with the load data set function. Then we define a function called preprocess function. It takes a sample from the data set and combines it with the instruction, context, and response fields into a single prompt, which is the input format for our model. It also mentions tokenization. Yes, we use a tokenizer that works with the Gemma model. OK, so we've prepared the data. What's next? We load the Gemma model itself using the from pre-trained function. We disable the cache and set the precision to 16-bit. OK, and now comes the part about fine-tuning, right? PFT and LoRa? Exactly. PFT is parameter-efficient fine-tuning. And LoRa is low rank adaptation. That's right. Instead of fine tuning all the model's parameters, LoRa only updates a small subset of parameters. I did a video on fine tuning earlier. You can find the link in the description. Correct. Now we get to the training part. The Optimum TPU library has a helper function to set up the arguments for training on TPUs. And we use the SFT trainer from the TRL library. Yes, that's for supervised fine tuning. We pass in our model, the training data, the training arguments, the LoRa config, and a few other parameters. And then the magic happens with trainer.train. Exactly. That single line kicks off the fine-tuning process on our TPU machine. I like it. And after trainer.train completes, we have a fine-tuned Gemma model. Thanks for this walkthrough, Duncan. You're welcome, Vitze. Check out the notebook and the resources in the description. Happy fine-tuning.